What's up, beautiful Aries gang? Welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. My name's Annie. Happy to have all you beautiful Aries out there with me today. We are here to do what I call my Lil Sips mini love tarot readings for you all. Uh, this is a temperature check-in, an energy check, seeing where your person is at, what they're thinking, feeling, etc. If you're not currently thinking of anyone, uh, this might not be your message, but it may resonate for you at a later date, so feel free to give yourself the luxury of time, okay? Um, this isn't always romance. I'm going to be read it through the lens of uh, romantic relationships, but do know in advance that this may be about your brother or your mother or your best friend. Do you know what I mean? So it's a relationship reading. Um, as always, come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind. Don't take on anything that feels strange or foreign. Uh, assume it's going out to someone else who needs to hear it if it's not your message. Uh, but again, it may resonate later. T uh, take away messages today that resonate with you, that motivate you, inspire you, empower you, confirm something you were thinking or feeling. And yeah, leave the rest up to source, up to spirit, up to God. It will all make sense eventually. So, wow, you got five of pentacles twice coming up in both your spreads. Interesting. All right, let's get a couple more cards. Five of Pentacles is not my favorite card. <laughs> you can tell by my reaction, but we're here for it. Let's work through it. Aries, Aries, Aries. Uh, everything else down in the box below for you, the decks I'm using, how to book a personal, my social media, all that, okay? Let's hop in for my Aries. Your person is thinking the worst. They're jumping to the worst conclusion. Um, uh, they some of you, some of your people this is a harsh message so ear muscles if you're not ready they see you as snake like they see like you you get yourself out of tricky situations and you're not held accountable for them again not everybody's message um or they're oh, okay for a lot of you they're riddled with guilt because they may have had liar cheater like tendencies and they think that they've lost you in fact that's it for a lot of you because where the five of pentacles is coming up in your heart so you're saddened by something you feel like lost or abandoned or like somebody didn't treat you right your person is thinking about that and regretting their action uh in in their heart they want there to be a happy reconciliation they they want a happy reunion they want your love they want to be embraced by you but they fucked up um quite frankly pardon the pardon the language but um they let the devil get the better of them they let their dark side get the better of them the action they're taking though is towards you it's towards the aries uh you might be dealing with another aries for that matter and again this might go out to the cross watchers some of you are dealing with a capricorn too Help me out here. Let's clarify. Yeah, with Page of Cups, your person is thinking about moving forward with an offer. This could also involve a cancer in some capacity. That could have been the person, the, if there was a third party type thing going on, it may have involved a cancer. Yeah, they lost they lost you from their grip. They feel like your worlds have, have not collided, but the opposite. Your worlds have, have spun out, have spun apart, and they're very sad. They want especially your Capricorn, they want to get things back together. Again, this could be bad blood in a family dynamic or with a best friend. There's awkwardness, particularly with a Capricorn right now, and they feel really stuck. Their, their intuition tells them that they should try and fix this with you, but they know that you might be very closed off to this Aries. They, they know they did you wrong, and so they're frustrated. They don't know what to do. They're having sort of like a crisis of faith. They're panicking, like under pressure. But yeah, they would love to repair this with you. They would love to rebuild it. Again, your earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for a lot of you. doesn't have to be that. Uh, but yeah, you're presenting as the wounded warrior, the nine of wands. Yeah, it's like you, you better come with, a with an apology. You better come fix this because, yeah, I don't think you're moving a muscle. They're the ones who played the head games. They're the one who got involved in like some sort of shysty dealing and... Yeah, I just don't think you're having it, Aries. I think they let you down, and this could be a, a, a husband or a wife. This could be a spouse. That could be someone that you had a child with, and you feel like their decision impacted both you and the child. You may be considering a divorce. Well, this isn't very uplifting. What does the universe want Aries to know about this? Messages for their best and highest good. Yeah, somebody broke a vow. Somebody broke a promise. Yeah, with a, a vow and a ring. Oh, this and your love readings have been so great recently. It's interesting. This one this week is it's a tricky one. Yeah, someone got a taste for something more sweet and come to find out they a lot of them again, don't make it your story if it's not, they made a poor decision and now they're regretting it and 
like the power rests with you. I think eventually they're going to come with several apologies and please let's let's rebuild this, let's rework this, you know. Please, you know, you know, like notice me, hear me, accept my apology and your brain is working a thousand miles a minute. I don't know if you're planning a strategy or a retaliation or you're just for a lot of you, it's like you're trying to picture how on earth you could possibly reconcile this or make it better because it really feels like they, they turned your back on you or they left you out in the cold. Again, you and the child. Something about a child is very important to this. Yeah, value your honor, value your worth. Um, if you, yeah, there, there's a message here about you're not sure whether to fly. You're not sure whether to leave this behind entirely or to try and make something right with your person, potentially a water sign, a male water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. You're really in deliberation on how, yeah, again, how you could possibly get this to work. In your heart, yeah, you feel, you feel lonesome, you feel lonely, you feel abandoned, you feel like somebody really turned your back on you. Again, you might be having a crisis of faith too. Maybe this completely blindsided you and you didn't see it coming. Some of you may have just had a child, like there's a new baby in the house and someone had wandering eyes. This might involve a Libra. As the Libra card comes out. A lot of you are going to make a decision to cut something out. Yeah, the final judgment. The judgment rests with you. The final call, calling the shots. It rests with you, Aries. And it's like, if you were to take this person back, in a sense, a lot of you know it almost wouldn't be worth it because you're going to treat them like a child. You're going to, you, like, they've lost all trust. So anything they do, it's going to have like a very, I don't know if harsh response or um, a harsh consequence. There's consequence to what this person did. But I, it's almost like you yourself are so angry right now. You're not ready to look past it. You're not ready to be like, oh, you know, what's in the past is in the past. It's like, no, let's wake the dead. Let's talk about it. Like, you know, the, the elephant in the room. And rightfully so. I mean, I don't think you're willing to let this go. I think you're very agitated. You're very annoyed because you know that you deserve better. And you're right. You do. Uh, this, yeah. Something about needling the situation, prodding it. That's what this is. It's like they just want to let it go. They want to talk about it once and for all and, and spill you know, spill their guts out to you and then they want you to accept their apology and for it to be happily ever after and put a nice little bow on it and call it a day. You're, you're, you're much more like, are you freaking kidding me? No, like what you did is like disgusting and unbelievable. And this is a rough message. Uh, for those who don't relate to this, I'll throw some more cards on a different, different storyline, but that's really what I'm getting. So for my cross watchers, if this was you, shit, what did you guys do? Capricorns. Yeah, I mean, this person let the dark side of their personality take over. And yeah, I mean, I think you are being relentless, Aries, in your determination to not let this person back in. This person who's a, who has abused your trust, who has uh, like put a, a disgrace or a bad name on the family, on the reputation of you guys. It's kind of a harsh message. Yeah, a lot of you are, are blocking the Capricorn. And if it's not as harsh as like, you know, disintegrating the marriage. It could just be that you guys were dating and again, someone slipped up and did something they should have. And I think a lot of you have decided to block them, particularly Capricorns. Sorry, Capricorns, if you're watching. Yeah, Aries, you're standing in your power. You're the emperor and you're not going to be treated like that. It's, you're like, cut that shit out. I'm gone. You blew it. All right, that's a, a tricky message. Let's get something brand new for Aries who are not relating to that. Let's do Aries either kind of flirting or falling in love. Aries looking for love. What uh, what messages for their best or highest good can we can we show them? The two of wands. You're gonna have options. Yeah. Who who do you want to go towards? And for a lot of you, this person may factor into the equation, but you may actually have someone else up your sleeve that you never acted on romantically or sexually, but it's it's almost like intuitively you knew if the day ever came where this person double crossed you. That's why I think you're so not attached to fixing this is because you probably have another option up your sleeve. Anyway. <clears throat> 
Some of you are going to reconnect with your mother. Some of you feel like you haven't been spending enough time with your family, your mother or your father specifically, and you're going to either, I don't know if it's offering them an apology, but you're going to extend your cup, your heart, your, your warmth, your light to spend more time with them. Yeah, a lot of you are going to travel. You're going to pack up all your stuff and go spend some time with them. Maybe you're moving out of a place with this person. Some of you may be switching homes or switching locations. Um, and it, yeah, in, especially if you move to like a small new town, it could even be where your parents live. You may run into old friends or old circles that you used to run in. And a lot of you may be deliberating if there's a romantic spark or a romantic connection with someone there. You're going to think about it. I don't think you're going to rush into anything, especially because your heart is probably still healing from all this, um, dare I say, bullshit that this other person put you through. And part of it, too, is that you're still angry. It's like you can't get this off your mind because you feel like you got gypped. It's like you're waiting for karmic justice. And I feel like I say this to you a lot. It's not your job. It's not your job to, um, you know, it, not endorse. What is the right word? Enforce karmic justice this person will get theirs in their own way like give it to god give it up to spirit yeah uh some of you have a, an air sign a male air sign that's interested you in you a gemini libra aquarius it could also be this person who really screwed up even when you move even if you go spend time with your parents or your friends or go on a vacation they're still going to be trying to message you but a lot of you have chosen to block this person like on your phone so try as they will it's like they can't get through for others of you, this represents a new male, it doesn't have to be a male air sign, but a new air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're very proactive and very talkative and very chatty and interested in you. Again, you're kind of holding out, you're waiting to see where things go because again, this might not be your story now, but later on, you may have two suitors, you may have two options, and you're not sure who you, I don't know if it's who you trust or just simply who you wanna choose. But this, potentially this Capricorn is not gone from your life or it could indicate, uh, actually there's definitely like a twin flame relationship with a Capricorn here. Aries, oh, this is a brutal one, but um, there might be, there might actually be two Capricorns vying for your attention as well. Uh, what, one is a little bit more sweet and cheeky, but they don't have the player-like tendencies as your last, I don't, it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but your last romantic suitor. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's going to be air signs and earth signs messaging you in the next, we'll say in the next month or so, I think. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, particularly a Taurus, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, particularly a Libra. Know your value. Know your worth. You are the emperor, so don't settle. Make sure you end up with the, you know, in metaphor, the empress, right? Male or female, doesn't matter your gender or, or who you're interested in. Find a divine pairing that, that meets your needs, that, that, um, that matches your what you desire in life, right? Especially if you are looking to build the empire, you know, find the divine pairing for the long term. Don't settle for the snake in the grass, right? Yeah. All right, Cap I almost called you Capricorn. I'm sorry. All right, Aries. Uh, that's what I got for you. Please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what resonates. I will see you beautiful Aries very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys.